Greetings dear friends, I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Volvo S40. In most cars, manual transmissions do not give calls for frustration. This is not the case with the first generation Volvo S40. The problem is the same as that of the SO platform Mitsubishi Charisma in box from Renault. That the M3P box with 1.6 liter engines and the M5P box with naturally inspired 1.8 and 2.0 liter engines and a diesel engine. Both of them are a kind of French made JB3 JB5 boxes. The turbocharged engine would appear a little later and relied on a stronger M56. Fortunately, after the restyling on the Volvo S40 and with the younger engines, they installed the M56 box with the Volvo 850. S70, which does its job not only well, but simply magnificently, withstanding the moment even of four supercharged engines. What's wrong with M3P and 5P boxes? Actually everything. The French design can rightfully take the price for the originality of the manual transmission case. To ensure equal length of the axle shaft, the left axle shaft starts directly from the differential. Moreover, inside the checkpoint, where there is a tripod type hinge. And so that the oil doesn't leak out of the box, there is an oil seal at the exit, which is more like a CV joint boot. On the shaft, the bearing is closer directly with an oil seal, and from the outside, a casing is put on it, which closes a huge hole in the box. Of course, any damage to the anther oil seal leads to a quick oil leak from the manual transmission, but this is only a smart part of the problem. The manual transmission drive is made by a barbell. For example, as on the Buzz 2108, and the quality of the drive is even worse than that of the 8. Literally within a year or two, backlash in the drive becomes at least uncomfortable, often you cannot engage reverse, first or second gear, and sometimes you have to go to the one you were lucky to the stick in. If this doesn't seem like a big deal, let's continue. The resource of synchronizers, shafts and bearings turn out to be small. Literally after a few years, quick changes become impossible and fast trips can result in overheating of the oil and oil seal leak. After 150,000 mileage, a flying left semi-axle and dying bearings of the tripod star are added to the number of problems. The stars are difficult to find, nominally Volvo didn't offer them, although these parts are in the Renault catalog. The glass of the tripod also wears out, and the tripod begins to disassemble itself, which of course entails catastrophic oil leaks from the manual transmission. Well, the noise of the box begins to go off scale and in severe cases of wear of the class or bearings of the star of the tripod or bearings of the box shafts. Vibrations and hum appear. Now it is probably clear why at the first opportunity they try to replace the renovation boxes with M56. True boxes with a short main pair are in some deficit and are more expensive than boxes from a Volvo 850 with engines of 2.0, 2.4 liters or even supercharged engines. By the time it appeared on the S40, the M56 box had time to recover from all childhood diseases. Occasionally the third gear synchronizer may fall apart, but this applies either to very early versions of the boxes supplied with the Volvo 850 or to those smooth with unsuccessful spare parts of early releases. In any case, the problem happens when the mileage is up to 60,000 km. The rest of the box is almost perfect, strong, resourceful and well-functioning. Sometimes the price of its release bearing is called a minus. Here it comes assembled with a hydraulic cylinder, the so-called hydraulic release. But this part has a resource of more than 200,000 km and changes extremely rarely. Yes, and it is expensive only against the background of the price of a completely killed S40. 5 to 7 thousand rubles for a high quality non original is a completely sane amount, and an expensive Fenox for a couple of thousand rubles can also cost a hundred. True, subject to correct assembly and bleeding of the clutch. I must say right away that the conversion from M3P to M5P is a rather troublesome undertaking. You will need not only the box itself but also both drives, a new starter, a new rocker and drive, a new clutch hydraulic line, and a new left motor support. Boxes Isin AW5042LE are considered eternal, in any case, they are able to, to travel 300-400 thousand kilometers, subject to more or less regular maintenance. They are afraid only of antifreeze getting into the oil, which is possible with Volvo radiators. Overheating, loss of oil level, there is a dipstick, so the main thing is to watch, and too aggressive driving. 
although they are designed for a torque of 320 nanometers and withstand all 360, occasionally the drivers manage to finish off such a box by stomping on the gas pedal. The main automatic transmission errors are associated with damage to the selector, which is located on the top of the box and over time begins to malfunction, requiring disassembly, cleaning and lubrication. With runs of more than 300,000 km, wear of the blocking linings of the gas turbine engine, leaks of the box seals and wear of the rear cover are possible. Sometimes a structural defect manifests itself in the form of a crack in the forward drum, after which the reverse clutches burn out. After installing in 1999 a much more modern 5-speed automatic transmission of the AW5550 series appeared on the car. On the mechanical side, it is not less reliable and even withstands more torque, but it will by turn out to be flawed. As with all subsequent engine designs, the well body design is such that dirty oil wears out not only the solenoids themselves but also the plate, the box body. As a result, simply replacing and flushing the solenoids rarely helps. You have to buy either a new well body assembly with solenoids and sensors, as the manufacturer suggests, or non-original solenoids and repair the body with Sonex repair kits, which for a number of reasons is rarely done well. Volvo has its own well body, and the 1999-2004 versions belong to the earliest and most problematic version of it, so if possible it should be replaced with a newer version. Well body diagnostics usually requires a stand and a good understanding of what is happening. A simple bulkhead of the box with the installation of the maximum number of new parts and first solenoids for this box usually doesn't lead to anything. In the best case, it will be possible to eliminate the breakdowns that have formed in connection with the well body malfunctions. As a result, the box received the title of problematic and the services love to breed the owners of these automatic transmissions for expensive repairs with the replacement of the well body with a repair or a new one. Moreover, after repairs in the amount of 100 to 100,000 rubles, the box doesn't always work, and often everything ends with the installation of a contract. It is easy to avoid problems. You need to change the oil in an automatic transmission very often, every 20-30,000 30, km. Put an external reinforced radiator and always an external oil filter on the box. These measures reduce the number of failures of this automatic transmission to a minimum, especially if you do not wear out the linings of the gas turbine engine with abrupt starts and in no case bring their wearer to the point of abrasion of the adhesive layer with subsequent sharp contamination of the oil. In terms of repair, this gearbox is noticeably more expensive than a 4-speed one, so at the first sign of contamination or damage to the well body, for example shocks when switching from 2nd to 3rd gear or from 4th to 5th, as well as shocks when turning on drive, you should think about repairing. The sooner it is carried out, the fewer the affected parts will be. In advanced cases, the contract box is cheaper than repair by almost an order of magnitude, if the latter is still possible at all. The situation with engines is quite simple. Almost all gasoline engines here are of a modular series, but a rather rare variety, 4-cylinder. These are found only in the first S40 or early 850. Even the 6-cylinder versions were produced longer, not to mention the 5-cylinder, which were rearranged into the diesel version on Volvo just two years ago, while the diesel engine as it is renowned. Let me remind you the main features of this series of engines. Firstly, the design of 4, 5 and 6-cylinder engines is unified, which makes it possible to find spare parts for even a very rare engine since its components are found on more common cars. All engines have an aluminum block with cast iron liners. The cylinder head is interesting in that instead of the camshaft pads, the upper head cover is used, which guarantees a rather interesting quest on engine options without hydraulic compensators, during valve clearances adjustment and assembly without a gasket. A similar solution was used in the lower part of the block. The upper part of the crankcase and the crankcase and the crankshaft bed are made as a simple as a single piece and the oil filter is screwed directly into the crankcase. The oil channel for supplying oil to the crankshaft liners is made in the form of an open mild cavity in the block wall and is sealed by a crankcase during assembly. Of course, all this too is all assembled for a sealed without gaskets and it requires a highest quality work. The camshafts are driven by a belt. Phase shifters are at least on the intake shaft. 
By the way, the phase shifter valve is one of the few weak points of the motors. It being aged leaks and oil gets into the belt dam damaging it. It is even more offensive if it is not the valve itself that is leaking, but it gasket at the price of 200 rubles. Make it a rule to change it regularly if every time you change the belt. By the way, engines with 4 valves per cylinder must bend them. A pump is also provided with the belt, which should definitely be changed every 60-90,000 km, otherwise the play of its bearing can damage the timing belt. The phase shifters themselves are quite reliable and, moreover, they are perfectly sorted out, but two economical owners and services sometimes block them or even groove them. Pay attention to this moment when buying. An extra 7,000 rubble. <sighs> An extra 7,000 rubles for a new clutch is unlikely to ruin you, but in addition, damaged channels of the system in the block oil leaks through the front part of the camshaft cover, and this is the upper part of the cylinder head on the engine, or oil rings may be attached. The service belt should also be carefully monitored. It is well loaded and quite long here. Its resource before tears sometimes is less than 60,000 km. Unfortunately, when it breaks, it often winds around the crankshaft pulley, damaging the timing belt with the corresponding consequences. So change the ancillary drive belt as often as possible. Another weak point of all motors in this series is the crankcase ventilation system. The not very successful oil trap and the system hoses creeping with age lead to leaks and contamination of the intake manifold, which doesn't contribute to the normal life of the engine and their longevity. As side effects, we note floating idle speed and a lack of power, especially in low volume variants. Here we recommend installing a late issue oil trap number 31338023 from 5 cylinder engines or a large oil trap from turbocharged engines. Failures of the control system by the camshaft position sensors are sometimes associated with the breakdown of the rotor of the Volvo 860-58004 position sensor. The part is inexpensive, but with age, it sometimes breaks off the protrusions, which is difficult to diagnose if the sensor had previously been removed by someone, shaken out of the body debris and collected back, not understanding the cause of problem or replacing the sensor itself. The rest of the engines are pretty much the same. Engines of the B4164S series of all variants, B4184S except for those with SM letters at the end, B4204S and supercharged B4204T differ only in displacement. Well, of course, the supercharged ones have a different intake system and there is turbocharging itself, which is why they are somewhat more dem demanding in maintenance. But in general, these are surprisingly strong and resourceful engines with excellent power indicators and at the same time they are very economical and the supercharged versions are also boosted very well. There are examples of engines on this block with a capacity of up to 600-800 horsepower. True, in terms of popularity, they are still inferior to the 5-cylinder options. The D4192T F8T in all variants is considered a very good design for its time. By design, it is very different from Volvo engines, but Renault services know it very well. But the B4184 SM motors, 125 horsepower, are the work of Mitsubishi. This is the same 4G93 in the versions with singular overhead cam, 4 well cylinder head, and GDY. On this information about the problems of the Volvo S40 is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.